in corporate finance investments financial management and corporate finance or investment related textbooks we find future value factor tables at the end of the textbook those tables help us or those tables provide as a factor values which we use in calculating future value of an amount however the tables present uh, tables presented does not have percentages like 1.5% 2.5% there they provide percentages of 1% at one year 2% at one year 3% 4% 5% but when you find when you need to calculate the percentages for 1.5 2.5 3.5 4.5 in the textbooks doesn't provide and you have to calculate them manually so instead of doing that you can create a similar table future value factor table in excel so in this in this video i demonstrate how to calculate future value factor tables using excel two variable data table so first we'll look at how to calculate the future value the formula used is future value factor equals to 1 plus r to the power of t where r is rate of interest t is duration in years so here we take a rate and a duration rate we enter in a decimals let us say 0.5 5.5 that is 5.0.055 this 5.5 percent and duration is two years so here we calculate it so it is 1 plus r to the power of t so in excel we have a function power to calculate the power value so we write this equals to power number is our number is 1 plus r so 1 plus r is our rate of interest comma and power is years that is t so to the power of t so duration is 2 years so take 2 here and 1.13 is the future value factor of a 5.5 percent and 2 years so once you calculate this now based on this we create a grid where we get a future value factor tables for multiple years so take one two three so we'll calculate for 15 years and here we start with a percentage one percent percent two percent two point five percent three so five percent so for example we are taking example now what to create two variable data table in excel what is that we need to do first we need to write a formula on how to calculate your grid so once you write a formula here immediately in the same row you define one set of a variables so here i am defining percentage that is rate rate in same row where we wrote a formula and a second variable need to be defined in a same column so here I entered duration okay it need to be adjacent rows there should not be any blank row or a blank column so immediate to the your formula immediately you need to define one set of a variables that is our uh, rate and another set here that is duration so once you define it then select your grid 
here is your formula and here is one uh, inputs of one variable and here is column inputs now after selecting this click on data and click what if analysis click data table so in a data table row input cell so in a row input what is that we are giving we gave rate so select rate as input row input and in a column input we gave duration duration that is time in column input and then click ok so here is your future value factor you can see the future value factor table here so these are your future value factor tables so just to check it's equals to power number is 1 plus rate and duration is 15 years 2.0789 2.79 so we got a table here future value factor table